He's big. I see him. He's a big old ten point with a sprat. G2. Whacked him pretty good. Yeah. Unbelievable. You learn a lesson every time you come out here. We work our tails off for this joker. Unreal, look at it. <laughs> Holy smokes. We're going back in. It's uh, 40 degrees, but it's windy and a north wind. We're going back into our spot. And uh, the good thing about that spot too is it's a little block in the wind. Um, so we're gonna be down that thicker timber. Hope these deer will be moving. It's gonna be cool all day, so hopefully we'll have action all day. Maybe it won't take too long. We'll get a look at the buck I missed, or we'll see the big, big deer. Good. Yeah. Dang it. Let's go cruise right through here. It just came right under us. I wasn't going to take too steep of a shot, and then I also wanted to get a better look at him. It was a little combination of both, actually. I mean, if I'd have known that deer, I wouldn't have let him get past the road, probably. But anyway, well, they're cruising. So that's the buck I'm pretty sure that was with the doe yesterday. So my theory might be correct. They've been in lockdown the last couple of days, few days, and these other bucks, they're coming out, and now they're looking, you know. As he kind of checked that doe, she's probably had just come out of being with a buck, too, so he kind of checked her, and now he's moving on, looking for another one. So I ain't no telling what we might see. We had 
another great morning. I mean, this is it. I mean, every book's coming right by us, right underneath us, working this scrape. We had a nice 10 point lay down. And um, I mean, this is just a awesome spot kind of in the center of the property. And this big junkyard behind us is kind of like a sort of a buffer, you know, it's kind of a go around. So it's just, it's awesome. Two mornings in a row we've seen eight to 10 bucks, different bucks and good bucks too. This segment brought to you by Dylan Blinds. One half inch foam insulation inside of the inner and outer fiberglass walls. Real glass flip up windows, fully composite floor, blind so comfortable you might just sleep through your hunt. Back in central Kansas, November the 22nd. Back up in our junkyard dog set, we call it. Now we've had some awesome sets here, me and Colin. He's buying the camera this morning. It's cold, it's in the high 20s this morning. No wind. So hopefully these deer will still be kind of coming out of lockdown, chasing new does that, that uh, hadn't been bred yet. They're looking for does that hadn't been bred yet. So hopefully we'll have some action here this morning in Kansas. There's a buck right back there. That's that seven point I saw. Hold up, don't move, don't move. Well, it's toward the end of November now, and we're, you know, kind of junkyard dog said it sort of slowed down. Uh, you know, still seeing deer out of it, but we start bouncing around. We go to the cedar pond set that's overlooking the pond.
bounce back to the, you know, where Chipper was successful earlier in the year and have some encounters. But, you know, we're kind of coming on sort of this post rut um, or just sort of this lull before I feel like it gets really cranked up again. This section of Major League Bow Hunter has been brought to you by Conquest Scents and River's Edge Tree Stands. Well, it's December the 9th. We're up here in central Kansas. And we got none other than Jackie Bushman, the Buckmaster, behind me. So I'm going to take Jackie out with me this morning. And uh, he's been hunting on another farm of Richards. And we're going to take him up here with us and uh, put him on another piece uh, to the south of us. We got a tower blind set up. It ought to be a good setup. He's got his muzzle loader, so hopefully he'll have some action this morning. I got a good feeling he'll get a shot at something with that smoke pole. So we're going to be a little bit to the north of him. And we'll obviously we'll hear him shoot. Maybe we can do us a double recovery with the guy I grew up watching. I was a member of the Buckmaster Nation. Still am. So it'll be fun morning. Do you get to shoot a buck when you take Jackie Bushman, the legend, the buckmaster out? He just shot a nine point 
not 300 yards from me. This buck we've seen a few times and had encounters. I tried to stop him a couple of times and he wouldn't stop. And I just wasn't sure about him because I didn't get great looks at him. He came in this morning. And Kyle and I both were looking. I'm like, that deer's old. He's got a big old gray face, saggy brisket. And I just see he's run down from the rut. He's a big old 10 point with a split G2 and a kicker. He went to walk this other buck off and I said, I'm gonna do it. And we punched that tag in Kansas. A lot of hours, buddy. Jackie doesn't have a clue we shot. Nice. I saw him go down, so let's head to him. This segment of Major League Bowhunter has been brought to you by Whitetail Institute and Packer Max. This segment brought to you by Sugarland Shine. For more information, go to sugarlands.com. Bush when the legend, the Buckmaster out. He just shot a nine point, not 300 yards from me. So we went over and, and recovered my deer. I mean, I saw the deer go down, so there wasn't any tracking job uh, that was required, but we go over there and now we're heading to Jackie. And he has no idea within all those text messages back and forth right after Jackie shot that I've just aired a nice 10 point and he's on the ground. So we're gonna head over to Jackie and and do his recovery and kind of keep that under wraps until just the right time. Huh? <laughs> I was like, we're getting down. How many times do you? I said, we're going to the truck. I was going, there's hundreds behind us. <laughs> no. So when we parked this morning, we walked up the fence line about three quarters of a mile to our set in there. So we came in. He's right here. He came out this morning way back there and he was chasing some deer. And he came back around here and had some more deer and finally he got in that 125 range for me. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Big old heavy. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Get that toe. How about that? Old deer. Yeah. I know it. And he had oh, he did. a footage. We'll show you footage from back during the rut. He had this point so what was and had a point coming right here. Yeah. Remember that he had, that's his main beam? So this, you do oh, this, yeah. this deer. Oh yeah. So you We've been, shot this deer. Yes, absolutely. I shot at this deer. <laughs> the cedar branch deflected my arrow. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah. Do you feel terrible? No. Hey. Look, I went ahead and shot one too. Oh, you got one? <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I went ahead and shot one. A double. Too. Yeah. Well, I know you're extremely happy to, to get it done and uh, a little bit of a twist on this hunt. You get to you got to hunt with the with the, the buckmaster himself. Yeah, it really was an honor, you know, Chipper's uncle, Jackie Bushman. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Jackie, you know, I was a member of Buckmasters when I was a kid and I remember getting my package in the mail with my knife and my hat and getting the magazines each each month and to be able to, you know, take Jackie out to our place and, and have that happen the way it did and things all come together was really a special moment just kind of for me to be able to do a recovery with him on his deer and then uh, you know his luck would have it I've got a deer you know got to play a little joke on because he's always you know how Jackie is he go back he's always trying to get everybody oh, yeah. and we got him a little bit but uh, we both had a really good year in Kansas really? so 